Hey everybody, welcome to Black Arrow Gaming. I'm Bob, and this is the 18th episode in my first Civilization VI strategy series. I'm uh, picking up after having been gone for a couple weeks here, so I apologize if the uh, Civ videos have been coming at kind of odd times. Um, that's primarily because I was gone for a weekend, and it kind of goofed up my recording schedule. So I'm trying to get back to it. Um, I also actually forgot to post episode 17, the one that came before this, so my, like, everything just got all sorts of confused, but I'm trying to get back on a normal schedule here. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Let's see, I am kind of picking up, like I said, after having been gone for a little while, so I was just reviewing things to try to see where I was at in, in terms of what I need to be working on right now. Um, I have a spot marked for an entertainment complex here, not realizing that this city already has one up here. So I can't, obviously can't move that. Um, I can build an industrial zone and I want to start that soon because the city could use all the production it could get. Um, but I need to clear this spot first. I'm not sure what I'm going to put in that entertainment district spot, maybe a theater because I was trying to boost this to uh, charming, or I mean, uh, breathtaking appeal. And I could do that if I put a theater square district here. So I think what I'm gonna do, well, I'm gonna wait and get the industrial zone first. So uh, for now, I'll just work on repairing the lavra. Actually, I think this might be losing an appeal from the lavra being pillaged. I'm gonna repair that first before deciding where to put my theater square. I'm not entirely sure if like a destroyed district stops providing its normal appeal to the adjacent tile. Um, I don't know for sure. I think this tile should get plus one from mountains, plus one from river, plus one from woods, and then minus one from the mine. And it's currently getting three, so plus one, it'd be three, and then it should be minus one. So I think the bonus for the lava is still counting. But uh, I will find out for sure once that's finished. And then I'll go ahead and clear that spot for the industrial zone. Uh, these guys, I'm going to... Well, I'm going to pull them back. I want to leave at least one in this city. And then probably get my other field cannon back into my main territory. I don't really feel like I need to worry about England anymore. So that's kind of refreshing. Um, they're completely, pretty much completely out of the game at this point. I got my tobacco repaired, and I think these guys' next stop's probably going to be that air, or that spot. Um, I did mark a few places for structures. Um, I can, I think I can get a breathtaking neighborhood here, and I want to put an airport here. Um, there's other places I'd like to put airports. I don't think I'm going to have room in my capital to fit one. It's kind of starved from room as it is. But I'd like to get one somewhere in this area to kind of protect these three cities. I think Moscow might have a couple spots and maybe Novgorod. Um, most of the tiles for this city I've pretty much got planned out at this point. I wanted to fit like more farms in here. I think I can get some more in this area. And I noticed that like over here. So when your borders expand beyond four, obviously this city can't work on these tiles, but I find it useful to build farms here because they provide their standard adjacency bonuses to other farms for having replaceable parts. And it's gonna boost the output of these farm tiles by quite a bit actually. So that's one thing I want my builders to be working on. Uh, this guy, I want him to go up here, probably build a farm in that spot so the city can reach out and get that extra food growth. I need to put or get the cotton uh, fixed up too. I have a ton of projects that I need builders to do. I don't know for sure whether I want these guys to build a wood mill on that spot. Probably, they actually, they probably should. Go ahead and build woods there. I mean, uh, not woods, a lumber camp. And then probably go down and clear the air for place for the airport. I'm also going to need to clear these tiles and put woods on those. I'll go ahead and build a lumber mill there just to boost production a bit. I do find that lumber mills in the long run are better than mines because they provide appeal and you can eventually I think get the same amount of production out of them. So I'll be trying to take advantage of that. Uh, I was planning I think on cutting this down so I could build an entertainment complex there and also boost the production of that wall. 
And then I'll probably have him go over here and build some lumber mills and maybe work my way down there eventually for more farms. Okay, got a privateer. I don't remember exactly where I wanted my navy to all go. I think I'm kind of sending this guy over here to just help fortify that island a bit. I've got my privateer down there. I think I needed to build three privateers for something. Oh yeah, it was electricity. That's why I finished building them. So I got a pretty strong navy now, which is good. Um, I've got, let's see, I've got the one boat here, I've got the ironclad here. I think I'm going to send this other privateer out as well, um, just to fortify my island cities, because they're probably most vulnerable to a navy attack. And it's also, I can build navy here in my home territory quicker if, uh, if I need to. I'm in sort of the period now where I'm trying to get everyone sort of settled after having been in a war for so long. I'll probably leave these knights down here. I was thinking about sending them back up north, but I, I think I kind of want to leave them down here to keep an eye on things, so hopefully another barbarian camp doesn't show up. If I could have them sit in that spot, they could protect everything but just this one tile here. Or keep an eye on everything, anyway. Alright. Forgot I'd place this new city out here. Um, I think the plan was to put an airport here. I wanted to make sure I had room for an airport in this city, uh, just so I could fly units in and out, because it's possible I could get kind of trapped here. But that would be a fantastic spot for uh, neighborhood too. I'll I'll find I'll find space. Um, I know that I, I know that I barely beat the Chinese to this spot. They might go up in this area. I don't know. All right. Well, I did get. A, I think I captured this builder, so that was kind of nice. Um, I don't want to send that one out towards that camp just yet. So let's pull this guy. Let's get both of these guys back. This would be safe to build a build something on. I'm not sure if I have silver already. Scroll down to where the amenities are. Yeah, I do have silver from somewhere. It's all right. Having extra is never a bad thing. Maybe I should send the other privateer out here. All right, so I think I'm back on pace here. Oh, cool. Got another spy killed in St. Petersburg. That one was from Japan. Who's supposed to be friendly with me. Seems they can't be trusted. All right, I can't do anything with this trader right now. Um, I hate putting these guys on sleep, so I'll probably just skip him because once I do have an extra trade route available, I'll definitely want to make use of him. Probably just, okay, I just don't want to forget that he's there. All right, you guys, I think it's time to go ahead and chop this down. And that'll boost this city's production towards Renaissance walls. Once that's done, I can finally get conservation. I'm finishing up Renaissance walls in all of my cities, and it'll be nice to have a sudden boost of tourism everywhere. Let's see, Novgorod will actually be... no. Solokomsk will be the last one to finish it. Alright. So in another six turns, I can plan to finish conservation. Oh, it's so nice having all these extra tiles. I did not know you could steal territory like that, but it's 
That's a very, very useful thing to know. Alright, you can just stay there for the rest of eternity, probably. Unless another fight breaks out. Okay, spy killed. I'm not going to bother Japan about that. They're welcome to send more if they wish. I'll keep killing them and getting XP. Alright. Yeah, they're stuck there for now. Can't move anymore. And I want to farm here. Sometimes you got to go in if you want it to switch over there on like this turn. Go in and click that. Obviously, it's, you wanted to switch from a less productive farm to a more productive farm. Uh, yeah, this spot will work. Just leave them on alert status there. Uh, these guys are trying to get up north. I may need to buy some territory in this city pretty quick. Uh, scorched Earth I will have on the next turn, and that'll give me a chance to switch policies over to one that lets me purchase tiles cheaper. Um, and then I, I'm probably going to buy a bunch of tiles around this city. Wait, where did those guys go? They must have gotten... Must have gotten bombed by a range ship out in the water somewhere, or a range unit sitting on that tile. Anyway, um, I'm going to want... To check the settler. I'm pretty sure they can't build there. Yeah, but they can build there. But it's going to take them at least two turns to get to that spot. And on the next turn, I can buy tiles. So I will get that on the next turn and expand the borders around the city as much as I can afford to do. I'm making a good amount of money now, so that helps. I was thinking about like blocking them with these guys, but I don't need to. I want to go get rid of that camp as soon as possible. Hmm. I'm going to end up getting a, losing some cities to different religions. Down here I've got two apostles running around. Or, no, an apostle and a missionary from the Chinese religion. I don't friendship or scorched earth. Okay, double yields from pillaging. Oh, yeah, that's the one I'm going to want. Plot purchase for cost reduced by 20%. Also gives me more production towards settlers. All right, uh, Industrial and Later Era Wonders. That is benefiting Crystal Redentor. So I want to check and see what the progress is towards that. Because I was building that in Kazan, which had to take a break to build the Renaissance walls. And it's still got... 13 turns to go. So I don't know that I want to switch that just yet. I can start moving towards conservation because in five turns... Actually, I'm going to give it six because it makes walls obsolete and I'm not sure which triggers first. Whether conservation would make the wall obsolete when it's one turn from being done or whether the wall would complete first. So I'm going to do something else for like a turn, like mobilization or something. It'll be a little while before I can get another card changed, so I'm gonna probably swap public works. I don't need to upgrade anything right now, so I should probably put the reduced unit maintenance back in here. And I'm gonna want, yeah, expropriation. I really want to keep that builder production in there right now too because I'm going to need to make some of them soon but I guess I can wait on that a little bit I need to keep the science and culture from international trade routes going and always keep that science one in there that one's really good okay I think this looks good Give it a second to catch up here Sometimes when you switch cards, it gets stuck for a second. It's like it's recalculating things. Alright. Oh, the settlers are heading back now. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm going to buy these tiles up anyway. Especially these ones here. Actually, I want to look at one other thing. Okay, there are spots that the settler could go down there. 
I don't really care if I lose out on the mountains, but just for the sake of having a nice view, being able to see a little further, I'll probably grab this tile. And then I'm definitely going to want this one, this one, probably because that'll probably be the airport. And actually, maybe this will be the airport. Oh, I just realized how good of a tile that is, because it's next to the this natural wonder. And nobody's going to get that tile. Unless he puts a city there and snags it real fast. I don't think they can. I'll uh, I'll just wait a turn or two and finish buying those tiles up. I'm not sure which one I want next. Oh, hey, the uh, melee units can embark down cliffs if it's next to a city. I didn't realize that, actually. Alright, two more envoys to send out. I want to think about who I need to be suzerain over. I've got Stockholm under my control. Amsterdam has a nice bonus that I really like, but I don't know if I can... Wait, no, I'm really close. Amsterdam is the one that gives plus one gold for each luxury resource at the destination trade route. Yeah, I want that. I'm going to swipe them from... Has Hong Kong got something I want? No. That's the City Projects one. I don't really care about that. And I think Lisbon is, yeah, traders immune to being plundered. So I want Amsterdam. Okay, cool. That should boost my gold income a bit. As long as I can keep them on my side. Okay, I'm tempted to send these guys away. Oh, I can't build, right, I can't build uh, forests yet anyway, because that's conservation. I was thinking about building forests on these tiles for then lumber mills for extra production. Um, I'll send them down and go ahead and clear the spot for that airport now. Actually, I want to do that anyway, because... It'll give me some bonus production and help boost things along for Cristo Redentor. So I'll have them clear that tile, and actually this one too, because I'm going to clear that eventually anyway. Because this tile and this tile are going to be forest to help the seaside resort out, and it'll help this neighbor sp neighborhood spot out. Okay. That's going to catch me off guard, confuse me every time. I think out here, I'm just going to leave these as forests and put lumber mills on them. Any extra production I can get in my capital is good. I probably should. I <laughs> should probably build boats on those fish sometime, too. Been sort of putting that off. And once electricity is done, I'm going to want to build power plants all over the place as well. So I'm going to need all the production I can get, because there's a ton of stuff I need to build. Yeah, city needs food, I know. And Moscow needs housing. Moscow will get its housing, probably from that spot. So I'm going to build... Yeah, that's going to be a neighborhood, because I can build a forest up here. There's several good spots out there for neighborhoods, but obviously Moscow need... Ooh, wait, hang on a second. If I was smart about this, I'd probably build a neighborhood here and here. No, I'd rather have a, on the hill there, I'd rather have another lumber mill, I think. Alright, well, we'll go ahead and get this.
Crystal Redentor, and let's see here. Yeah, I don't really need any of these jungle tiles right now. I got plenty of better tiles for that city to work on. That's a ton of production in there. One of these guys has Garrison, I think. Yeah. I think I'll leave him sitting in the camp encampment. Well, it works for cities too. Did that give bonus production to Oh, that gave bonus production to Kazan. I meant to give it to Manchester. That's fine. It's probably better served going towards the wonder anyway. turn there and leave my boats just kind of on alert status watching the waters around that area I would rather have this city expanding out into the water over time so I'm going to continue to buy up as much land as I can while it's cheap just to make sure that city-state doesn't grab some. And then I suppose he should go out and get a boat on those fish, probably. Oh, I can switch this. I need to switch that back to conservation. It's so hard to pick out what events in these things are important because they kind of tend to fly by sort of quick. May have discovered electricity, but it was the man who invented the meter who made the money. Um. I want radio, because I want to get that seaside resort built soon, and I want to see where aluminum is, but I can build a national park if I, I have plenty of faith to do it, too. Hang on, I want to look at something here. If I were to switch to a theocracy, I could like buy, use up all my faith to buy a bunch of military units, like land units. I mean, I'll have to keep that in mind, I suppose. I don't want to do that now, but. All right, before I forget, let's switch that to conservation. Double check to make sure none of my cities are gonna finish walls before then. I think Solok Mosque was the last one and it's three turns. So, yep, I'm good. I can get conservation ASAP now. Let me grab rifling. <laughs> I never get military tactics because it's back here in the tech tree and doesn't connect to anything else. So it just kind of gets left behind. Um, there's really no reason for me to waste the time getting it at all. Not like I need pikemen. So I'll grab rifling. And yeah, I may as well go ahead and chop that down so these tiles are all ready. And I need to chop this spot down to make room for a neighborhood. So they're just going to take out a whole bunch of forests. Alright, now the question for this guy is what does he do now? I've got the, uh, I've got the spot cleared for the industrial zone, which that's going to need to go to this city. I may as well switch that tile now. Wait. There we go. Uh, I could probably go build a farm out on the rice, I guess. Maybe another farm there. Would make a nice little triangle over there. Is that a hill? 
Yeah, I could use a lumber mill on that spot too. I'll head back here. Alright, leave my boats out here. I got, well, the back end of my island's a little vulnerable, but I don't expect enemies to come that way. I'll leave the boats on the side with the cities. Now if I can just avoid the dang enemies getting another unit on like the last second, that would be nice. Just in case. Alright, um... This spy I think had a production for sabotaging production. Had a promotion for sabotaging production. I got an 84% chance as it is, but I'll go ahead and gain sources anyway. I always opt for the safe approach with my spies. I'll probably just have him bounce around different places and sabotage everyone's production. It's a nice option if you're worried about one computer kind of pulling ahead, but there's nobody in particular that really is scaring me in this game. I'm leading in every category except religious, and the computers never get religious victory. I'll look at that though. Yeah, see, Japan's got two out of eight, but that's, that's it. And I've got two out of eight. Yeah, there's no way Japan's gonna be able to come over here and convert all my stuff. I have way too much faith. I could stop that easily. All right, so St. Petersburg is done with its new wall, and I probably need to... Oh, man, there's good wonders, too. I just don't have enough room to build stuff. I think the logical start, though, is the power plant. I want those everywhere, because that'll boost production for all cities within the power plant's range. Okay. Repeat route. Which one was the last route that I did? Toulouse is a good one. I think I kind of wanted to get extra food for St. Petersburg. So I don't really have a lot of room for farms there. I think this city is a good one. That's 18 gold. I'm ne not necessarily thrilled about trading with China, but... You know, I'm just going to put him on sleep. I'm tired of clicking through that every time. I'll just try to remember. Alright, three build actions left. Well, I may as well grab that quarry. That would actually be a great spot for a neighborhood if I turned these into... I might not even... I might actually just pick up that quarry and put a neighborhood there. I don't really need the production. I'm going to have plenty from lumber mills on all these surrounding hills. And then I could put a neighborhood district in there and really help out St. Petersburg in terms of growth. Or even a farm. Actually, I could really use farms here. St. Petersburg does not have enough farmland. Huh. I have civil engineering. I think I can build farms on hills now. Once conservation is done, I'll, I'll do a little bit more with that. Because then I'll have the option to build wood or to build yeah to build woods too to create woods and so i can probably get a neat little farm setup going here maybe like have the farms here no i want that tile next to forest so maybe farms in like this area as long as st petersburg can reach him uh let's see he's got one movement left or one build action left. 
you know what? I want this guy down here. Change my mind because I want to clear land for the resort and I want to clear that marsh and build a plantation on it. So I'm going to need all three of those build actions. Okay, I can finally clear that camp. That's awesome. There is. Whoops. Go ahead and buy that now. There's a forest on that tile, so that makes me happy. And this city is honestly in pretty good shape. Oh, hey. I guess this tile would benefit from... Yeah. These tiles would benefit from the mountainside, too. Make good water tiles, even though there's nothing there. Cool. I'll just buy the last one since I've got the discount for it, and then the borders can just start expanding out into the water whenever. Maybe I'll get lucky and there'll be oil, like, right here. That would be awesome. I'll just have that sail out there and protect... Protect my fishing boats. Hey, I jailed a spy. Man, St. Petersburg is a real target for spies now. Computers will go, just absolutely go yeah, after a city that's from. generating a lot it's of money. Great Zimbabwe, when you build Great Zimbabwe, be prepared to have spies in your city to counter spy, because they will go hard after your city. Because basically the siphon funds, you get more gold the, from siphon funds if the city that you're spying in makes more gold. Okay, Renaissance Wall's done. Also, I can get steel, so I could actually see oil pretty soon. I would really like that. Eiffel Tower would be a nice wonder to build, but I think I've kind of managed the appeal of all my tiles to where I don't necessarily need it. It's always good to have, but... I don't know that I'd want to spend the time, money, or production getting that. Oh, yes. I forgot steel also gives bonus production from lumber mills. I think I might end up... Oh, no, wait, no. These need to remain... Yeah, these need to remain mines because they're going to give a bonus to the industrial zone. But in a lot of other cases, I'm going to end up replacing mines with with uh, with lumber mills. Got a great person. Oh, I get just a free oil from this guy. This is a good one. Cool. There's just free oil. I don't even have to think about it. All right, he should have gotten promoted. I'll just leave him there. He's jailed one spy and I killed another one. Right. Um, as much as I want builders down here, I'm going to prioritize those power plants. I want those everywhere ASAP. Oh wait, no, this city needs a neighborhood first. It's been up against the growth cap for a while, so I want to get at least one more neighborhood here. I'll have him go clear that resort. Clear the spot for that resort. This would be a good spot for a neighborhood, but I don't necessarily think I'm gonna. This city will ever get big enough that I would need it. I'll probably just rely on housing from fishing boats. And we'll actually only get one. 
Anyway, I don't think I'll need that much. I, I have a spot for a neighborhood there. Still not sure where I want to put that airport. Because it's got to be on flat land. Yeah. A neighborhood there would be a good spot. I'll think about that a little bit. Alright, got an envoy in Hong Kong, so that's cool. Well, Roosevelt thinks I'm a warmonger. Whatever. He's probably not wrong. Hmm. A lot of people think I'm a warmonger now. I'm not occupying any of England's cities anymore. We're at peace. This is now officially my city. <laughs> I guess came to cast his bell eye to declare holy war on China. Glorious. Alright. I really want to get the industrial zone in this city. Um, Alright, conservation is going to be done in two turns. At which point I'm going to want to start making builders again. So it'd be nice to find something that I could do for like two turns and then be done. I'll just start producing. I'll start producing the arena because I'm going to need this eventually. Alright, over here we've got. Again, I need an industrial zone in this city too. Stock exchange would be useful. Zoo would be helpful, although I don't really need the amenities yet. Again, I think I just want builders in here for now, because they're going to be the ticket to these cities getting bigger. But I'll wait until I have the bonus production for them. I could use a sewer in this city. I could use sewers kind of in all of my cities. Alright, and then in Manchester, I think, I don't need the ancient walls anymore, because I'm not even going to try building them in Manchester. I'll just repair the religious building stuff. Did the appeal of that tile go up? Nope. I guess the appeal still applies even if the district's been pillaged. Okay, not enough housing in Kazan. I'm not necessarily surprised. I need a neighborhood here, too. Um, I think the neighborhood in this city, I'm going to put one here. It won't be breathtaking, but it'll be close enough. I really just need housing. I love, I just love this defensive wall for this city. It's This would be a very difficult city to attack. Especially once I get the defense up. Right now it's a little on the soft side in terms of combat strength, but it'll get there. Oh, I need to remember to buy this tile and buy any other tiles that I want. Probably on the... Actually, I need to buy that tile on this turn because I think it'd be a good one for the city to be working on. Let's go ahead and do that now. Well, maybe not. The city should definitely be working on that one for now. You know, I could use... How many build actions do these guys have left? Two? Lumber mill there, fish there. So I'll go ahead and grab this one too. And then any other tiles? Let's see, any other tiles that I need? I can decide on the next turn when conservation is done researching. 
because I'll have a little bit of extra money to spend at that point. Speaking of which, on the next turn, when that's done, I'll be able to build forest. So I'll get these guys in position to do that, because I already know I want them here and here. Oh, I want to clear the commercial hub spot, too. I think I'll build an airport in this city before I build the commercial hub, though. Oh, I can upgrade these guys to infantry. All right, I need to remember to switch that card and maybe save some money because I'm going to want to upgrade several different units to infantry, I think. Where do I have other musketmen? We got some here. I got some there. Okay. Where's the others? Ah, out there. I think it's a 50% discount, right? So it'd be like 145 gold instead. 145 times 3 is roughly 450, so maybe I'll have enough to buy one more tile somewhere before switching the policy. So the order I do this in to save money will be a little bit important. I'll explain in a second if you're not following me. Oh, <laughs> she's just really grumpy. She has no hope to win anymore. Well, you know what? Out of all people, you have the right to call me a warmonger, I suppose. Although, to be fair, the war that she lost her city in... In fact, we've been at war like five times, and I think four of them she declared war. Alright, cool. Got class struggle. That might actually be... That might be a good... Might be good for me to pick. I don't know, we'll see. I don't know which endgame ideology I'm gonna go with yet. Alright, so let's see. The order I do this in is gonna be a little important. Okay, I want... I want to buy tiles. I think this city, the only tile it can expand to next is gonna be that harbor. Or the spot that I have marked for the harbor, so... No need to buy anything there. This city might might be useful for me to get one here, because that'll be a good spot to put a neighborhood. And I don't know how long it's going to take for the borders to expand there. Oh wait, no, that one's up next in ten turns. You know, maybe I just don't really need to buy anything. I don't have to. Let's make sure I've got everything in uh, this city that I need. I don't really need the mountain. This would actually be a good spot for a national park, now that I think of it. Oh, but all the tiles have to be in my territory, right? Alright, well, that's fine. I don't need to buy any- I don't need to buy any more tiles, so since I don't need to buy tiles, I can go ahead and open up the government tree here. I'm going to switch the settler, or I mean that one for settlers and reduced tile costs, switch that back to the bo back to the bonus for builders. There it is. And then I want for the military one 50% discount on unit upgrades. Okay. I'll let the game catch up here. Alright, so now I can go through and upgrade all of my units. Since I know where they are. Infantry there. Infantry there. And the last one is in this mountain pass. So that further cements my lead in military power. And I want cultural heritage. I want need heritage tourism. I need a themed museum for that. 
I forgot that Novgorod needs to be building an archaeologist. Yeah. I'll let it finish the neighborhood. Maybe I'll make enough money to just outright buy the archaeologist, because I don't want to wait 10 turns for it to get done. I want cultural heritage soon, but I need a themed museum for that, and I actually need a themed museum anyway, because I'm going for a culture victory here. That's an easy decision. So yeah, I'll just save the rest of my money and, and build up for an archaeologist. Oh, I have more envoys to send out. Okay, still the suzerain of Amster... Hmm, excuse me, Amsterdam. I uh, might go ahead and boost my relationship with Palenque a bit. I'm wondering if any one of these military ones would be worth worth the time. City center buildings and encampment district buildings can be bought with faith. Oh hey, cost of purchasing ancient, medieval, and renaissance walls is reduced, but they can only be bought with faith. Well, I can't make them anymore anyway, but that would have been useful. I don't know that that's even an option because, yeah, I can't quite become their suzerain on this turn, but I'm pretty sure I can't build walls anymore. I don't think that's an option in Manchester. Oh, it still is. I wonder when walls become obsolete. I was wrong about that. I was thinking it was conservation because that's when they start generating tourism, but that's apparently not the case. Maybe that would be worth getting to spend some of my faith to buy walls there. Okay. Let's see. Um, go back to city-states. I think it was Valletta. Yeah. They have a quest for me, too. What is that? I might need to do that. Train a biplane. Okay. I think I might be able to do all these things. Oh, wait. I already have two envoys with Valletta. They're influenced by three sieves. Why don't I just do this? Put two there. Letta becomes my my ally, and then I think I can go in here. Well, cool. Hang on, I'm gonna spend like all of my money doing this, for all of my faith. I will buy these. I will use up all my faith buying these city center buildings if I can. Any city that needs them. I did not realize that I could do that. really nothing better for me to be spending my faith on at this point. Oh, Renaissance walls completed in this city too, so... Wait, Renaissance walls? I thought I was building something else in here. I thought I already finished those. Well, right now, I want this city to be making builders. What is going on? I just, I already got that. That was weird. I already got the class struggle Eureka bonus. Why would it show it to me again? Oh, yes. This is awesome. Just using up all of my faith, but this is so worth it. All right, I uh, I do need to get to leave enough for one naturalist to build that national park that I've been wanting for a while. Also, before I do that, I need to put a forest on that tile. Uh, 
How much faith am I making per turn? 153? Alright, I need to... I need to switch production here to a builder. I did switch those, right? Yep. Discount for builders. And as soon as he's done, run over there, put a... No, I'm just going to get the naturalist now. Wait, no, why would I do that? It's 1600 faith, why can't I buy? Oh, there's a musician in there. That's why I can't get that. Um, maybe I should build, because I could wait a few turns before the naturalist. I don't necessarily need a sewer in this city yet. It doesn't have, well, it is kind of low on housing, okay buy a sewer there and then maybe I can buy a couple cheap buildings in here by the time the builders done I'll have to be ready for the naturalist How about like a granary and a monument now nah, I'll wait I'll wait that was a really good turn of events for me I didn't, I didn't never even realize that city's bonus until now. Uh, well, I don't really need any of those, so I may as well start building a district here. I think it would make sense to start with an aerodome, I think. So I really need to figure out exactly where I want to put that. I want to kind of protect it a little bit. I really wish I could guarantee that I'd get all those tiles and my borders, but I don't want to put up another city over there. I'm good with just this one here. Maybe this would be a good spot for a natural park, actually. Because those I could get all in my borders. As a matter of fact, I should have... Yeah, this is going to cost more now. But I'm going to get this tile here so I can make sure that I get that. Get that bonus. Yeah, that would be a good, that's a good spot for a national park. The neighborhood I'll put here. And then, let's see. Probably would want to put an encampment district up on one of these hills. But then again, that's going to sort of mess up. Yeah, an encampment district on these hills would kind of mess up the natural par or national park. So, instead of doing that, I'll probably put the encampment here to sort of protect the airport a little bit so there's a defensive structure out there. For now, I want to start the airport in this city. I need a mine too, actually, now that I think of it. An industrial zone. Where would I want to put that? The logical place to think of is like, where are you going to need mines, but... If I have a national park here, I don't want to build mines here and here because it's going to lower the appeal of this tile. But this city definitely is going to need an industrial zone. Yeah, it'll take 35 turns to finish production of the aerodrome. 59 for the industrial zone. I think from a strategic perspective, I'm still going to need to get the aerodrome first. It's just trying to decide what to do with these three tiles. Because, well, I guess I could put the industrial zone here. This tile would still have an appeal of four. It's not bad. That's probably what I'll do. It would get the bonus from the mine, and then I could have the rest of my stuff out there. Hmm. I think I'm going to start with getting that industrial zone, actually. By the time it's done, I will have the ability to build anything out here that I want. Alright, that's my decision. Industrial zone here. I'll probably never build anything on that tile. I wish this builder was over there right now. It's alright. Uh, 
Oh, I think I just accidentally clicked on that. That's probably what happened earlier. So I can definitely get cultural heritage going or keep it going because by the time that's done... Oh wait, no, I still need to get the themed museum. So at some point I need to, to get that uh, archeologist. Just need more money. It's a good problem to have when like you've got resources and you're spending them as soon as you get them because that means you're making use of them. All right, I got a source of oil. Ooh. Huh. Well, I was going to put a neighborhood there, but I mean, obviously if there's oil there, I kind of I need that. So, we'll just deal with that being a slightly less productive neighborhood district. I still want the commercial hub and harbor here and here. I thought there was another spot for a... For a... Oh, no, that was my last spot for the neighborhood. Gosh, I don't know. I, I honestly... I'd almost rather have the neighborhood in this city because this city's capable of growing so quickly. Maybe there, there's probably a better spot for it, I suppose. Like, this tile wouldn't be bad. As long as I can avoid, like, having them... Having France, like, chop down that forest or something. My borders might get there before theirs do. Well, I'm not going to change anything down there for now. Alright. I can start going radio now. Because by the time that's done, or halfway, I'll be able to build that national park. And I got a great person. I'll take it. Is that my only source of oil? Yep, just the one. I was hoping that would be in the water down there. That would have been better. No oil up here. That's too bad. I was really hoping that there would be. Alright, where do I need... I have an art museum. Can't move that right now. I'm sort of stuck in terms of art. I might need to trade some stuff with some people. Because I took a bunch from the Congo and now I'm regretting that a little bit. All right, well, what did he get? What is he, a landscape guy? Yeah, landscape paintings. And I have a landscape and a portrait. I'm gonna need landscape paintings, the same type from different people. So let's see, that one's an El Greco, El Greco, landscape, from view of Toledo. Those are all sculptures from the same guy, so they don't get a theming bonus. I want to see who's got what, because if anybody has, if anybody has another landscape from somebody besides El Greco or the guy that I just picked up, then I'm definitely going to want to pick it up. Those are portraits. Alright, well you guys don't want to sit here watching me click through menus, so I'll go ahead and do this off camera in between episodes. I need to go ahead and wrap this one up anyway, so... Um, yeah, I didn't realize I'm coming up against an hour here, so thanks so much for watching everybody. I'll go ahead and wrap this one up here, and I'll see you in the next one.